right now. You're not here to see beautiful latte art. You're here because your latte art looks more like this. Stick around, I'm gonna show you what's going wrong and how you can fix it. Hi, I'm Paul from the Coffee Science and Education Centre. In these videos, we do equipment reviews, do basic barista skills, and we also cover the science that brings it all together. So if you're interested and you want to stay in the loop, hit the subscribe button right now. In my day to day, I train baristas every single week and I see these six same mistakes that baristas make every single time they're trying with latte art. All right, mistake number one, baristas don't get the texture right. If your texture is bubbly or too thin or too thick, you're never going to pour great latte art. My basic tip to all start out baristas is that it looks like melted ice cream. So keep on practicing until you get that really nice silky texture. Also, full cream milk is the best way to start. All right, mistake number two is we don't set up the canvas right. The first thing I tell baristas to do is give the crema a nice swell. It mixes it all together and makes it easy to pour into. It also maintains a really nice balanced flavor at the end when you're actually giving it to the customer. Mistake number three is Bruce's wait too long before they start pouring. Coffee can smell your fear. Get in as soon as possible. I usually say that the halfway point in the cup is where you want to start pouring latte art. Now mistake number four is one of the ones that baristas have a lot of trouble with and that's either pouring too fast or too slow. Now I could tell you about it or I could show you. Pour too fast and the crema will just disappear and what you'll end up with is a lot of white in your cup. Pour too slow and you're just going to have the crema rise all the way to the top and you're going to have no patterns at all. This takes time and practice. So the more you vary your speed as you're pouring, the more you'll learn the best way to pour latte out. Now number five is keeping your angles simple. So often I see baristas with all these wacky angles and trying too hard just to pour latte out. If you line your cup up nice and straight with your jug and pour nice and straight, you'll get good symmetrical latte art. Now this will take a little bit of practice and a little bit of uh, adjusting your cup and the angles of your arms, but eventually, if you can draw a straight line with your jug from the top to the bottom of the cup, you're going to get really nice latte art. Now mistake number six is you pull through too fast. You've done all of this hard work, drawn this great symmetrical pattern with all of these nice leaves, and you're in this hurry to finish it off. Stop right there, slow it right down. At the very end, lift your jug up a little bit higher, have it toothpick thin, so that when you drag it through, it draws a nice, even line down the middle and creates that really nice latte art. All right, that's my six mistakes a lot of baristas make in trying to do latte art. But here's my bonus tip. If you want to practice heaps, but minimize your milk wastage, you can do this. Now, after finishing your first cup, pour the cup back into your jug. Swirl it together to recombine it. Pour a small amount into the cup and cover it with chocolate. Now go ahead and practice your latte art. At the end of that cup, pour that cup back into the jug, swirl it again to recombine it, pour a small amount into the cup and cover it with chocolate again and practice your latte art again. And you can do this five to six times without it affecting the milk texture too much. Give it a try and you'll find that your milk wastage will be less and less. All right, that's it for now. Tell me below in the comments what your biggest latte art failure is. For now, see you later.